gut health. I don't care if you're a human or an animal. That's the big phrase nowadays, gut health. We're gonna talk about it today. Gut health. We have to eat to survive, but it is the gut that is responsible for taking that food and turning it into fuel to keep the bodily processes going. I'm telling you, 95% of everything we talk about on this channel directly or indirectly deals with gut health because all of these issues impact gut health one way or another. I don't care if it's water quality, litter management, biosecurity, lighting, feed outages, all this. All of this relates to gut health. Now, we did a video a couple months back of the most important time of a bird's life was like the first three days. We focus on some other aspects. But that intestine, when that bird hatches within the first week, the intestine's already developing in the egg, but once that bird hatches, it goes through a, an incredible growth rate and it is finished developing in that first week. That's another reason why that first week is so important because the development of that gut will impact the rest of the bird's life. And the longer, and as I understand this and doing the research, the longer that intestine is and the longer it can get, the healthier it is, the better it is for uh, resisting disease and better nutrient absorption. So these are things that we need to focus on on the beginning of the bird's life, the gut health in the beginning. So we need to make sure we focus and stay attentive on those things. Now we get to the grow out. And the grow out, here's what happens in the grow out. You got a couple of things. You got stress and then challenges. Now stress, Here's the importance of stress, and I think we underestimate because we talk about it all the time. Well, you don't want to stress your birds, and this can stress the birds, and this, that, and the other. So during the grow out, the bird's going to have some stress. But the more you can reduce the stress, the better, because here's what happens when a bird gets stressed. The actual cohesion of the cells in the intestine actually start to come apart, and it's on a microscopic level. But what that allows is what we kind of term leaky gut. What happens is, in a bird, when that is stressed and some of the cohesion of those cell walls, it's going to allow bacteria that are in there to escape and to get out into other areas. Uh, a lot of times kinky back is a, is a big uh, result of this because that bacteria will sometimes go to the spine and cause an, abs uh, an abscess. So you get some kinky back. But there's other things too. So when that leaky gut happens because of stress, then it starts getting out. Um, and stressors come from all sorts of things, everything from noise. We talk about even weed eating, running, running down the side of this house with a weed eater and creating noise. Um, it's a stressor, too hot, too cold, feed outage, water quality. There's, there's many things that cause stress. And the more we stay on top of reducing those stressors, the more we can keep that intestine in good health and doing what it's supposed to do. Now, you just hate to throw out a problem there with no solution. And we always focus on this channel about what can you do? You can only do so much. You can't affect the feed. You're not formulating it. You're not cleaning out the truck that it arrives in, make sure there's no mycotoxins, all this, that, and the other. So, but you can take control of what you can control. Here's the problem though sometimes, and this is kind of what I, what I want to wrap up with is this. It's easy to do something we see a result of. Okay, I go in here and I blow this house out. Okay, boom, I see the result. The dust is gone, the, the shutters are clean. You know, the water's you know, testing good, I see the result. But it's hard to sometimes stay on top of things when you can't see the actual result. And unless you've got a microscope, you're not gonna be able to see a really good development or your, your efforts impact on the gut of the bird. So I challenge you to do these things that we talk about all the time. But here's why. Because of the importance of keeping that gut healthy. It's how you're going to turn a profit. It's how you're gonna help with your feed conversion, nutrient absorption, so you can turn that feed into weight. 
Those are the things that we have to stay on top of. And that's why gut health is extremely important. We have to take care of that gut in order to make money. If you got any questions on this or anything we can do to help you, give me a call, 1-800-608-3755, or email me, alan at southlandorganics.com. And if you have any ideas on some videos you'd like to see, send them to me or some tips. Until next time.